Okay, so the histogram plot is, it's really just such an important plot. It's kind of foundational. It's one of the ones that I usually start with, and it gives you a good sense of the distribution of the data. One of the features of it is it helps you generalize. So you're able to put things into bins, and it essentially counts how much time the data falls within a bin. So you can make your bins really wide or really skinny, depending on how much noise you want to remove. And this is kind of like almost simulating the fact if you were to have a larger data set, if you were to have a bigger sample, you would probably see a, a more smooth distribution. So this is trying to simulate that, remove a little bit of noise that you can get the sense of really what the distribution would look like if you had more data. So it's really giving you that outline of the data, removing distracting noise, kind of kind of like this picture here, the monster in the neighborhood, really you can see the outline of this, this, this monster, right? You can see the outline of it. And that's the idea here is we can see the outline of the distribution. A cool little feature is, is when we want to compare many distributions together that can be, or many categories in a class and look at their distributions, it can be a little bit tricky to do that. Uh, tricky to get that right in Seaborn, very valuable tool. But one of the ways that we can accomplish that is by using the KDE uh, version of this, adding the KDE line, the kernel density estimation line, the uh, kind of the outline of the distribution. And this gives you a better sense of really how the different categories, the distributions are kind of flowing together and give you that, that, that sense of those as well.